So here with Paul Reynolds, CEO of Telecom. Yeah, afternoon. Yeah. Hey, so look, last time I saw you, actually, I think I was up in one of the rooms in uh, your place and you are involved with Made from New Zealand. Yeah. So really appreciate that. Yeah. So what's today been about for you? Oh, today is about how we make sure as businesses we get together, we club together with government, with all interested parties and make sure we create the right environment for business going forward. You know, New Zealand hasn't felt the full effects yet. Mm. And we get in early, we team together really, really well. We can take some serious measures that help businesses in New Zealand to come through what is a tough year ahead. You know, so in particular, I think uh, a lot of good discussions about uh, SMEs, how we can help SMEs, because the, the issue is often just working capital. What we're hearing about is businesses with full order books, mm -hmm. but just can't get the credit lines, can't get the working capital for the month ahead. So a lot of interesting discussions and measures around that and how we can uh, improve matters and make sure that great businesses that are actually in, in a success mode have the funding. You know, to capitalise on that success. So telecoms a really big company, but a lot of your customers are small mediums, and, and you're increasingly reaching out and doing things to help now. So yeah. are they a major part of how you see New Zealand's economy? Well, the growth in our business, a huge amount of the growth in our business comes from small medium uh, enterprises. You know, mm. It's where the innovation is, it's where the dynamism is. And in, in serving that sector well, you know, trying to get close, we understand how business, big business, will be for the future. It's increasingly online, it's increasingly mm. e-commerce, it's increasingly dynamic in that way and that plays to what we do but it also shapes how business will be and so yeah it's very important for us to keep close. So this mode of governance where you've got you know, the leading MP, you've got the Prime Minister here with the leading CEOs, is this something you've experienced before or is it a first time? Oh it's first time for me certainly in New Zealand and actually in, in past business I don't think I've seen so many CEOs, senior politicians and civil servants together all at once at the same time. And by the way, the mood was fantastic. Yeah. You know, it was it was absolutely cooperative teaming. I think people set aside any competitive or other differences they might have had and, and we're ju actually just thinking about what measures can we take, what should we promote to, uh, that gives the best outcome for New Zealand. Mm. And that, that, I mean, that's got to bode well. The more we can team, uh, the better result we're going to get. So the network New Zealand business community, you think that's kind of the future for us? Well, you know, I, I don't want to make too much of that, but, but I, I do think there was a lot of good spirit shown today. Mm. You know, I think it's, it's clear that this is a, a group of people, and it's a big group of people, who can get together in all seriousness and put aside some uh, self, you know, any of the self-serving stuff and come up with policies that will be good for New Zealand. So, that, you know, that, can't, that could be nothing but positive. Yeah. So I think we should be aiming to get on with it. Yeah. You know, pick some... Pick some initiatives that uh, excite us because we said we talked about it that day and now we're doing it. Yeah. Uh, set that, that gives you the momentum to get on with the tougher things that we talked about today and, you know, because we'll have to work together for a period of time to get all the benefit of the ideas that come out of today's conference. So the world's tight on capital. Kiwi companies often have been tight on capital for years. Yeah. Is this an opportunity now, you think, where we're in a world environment where we already know how to cope with it potentially? Well, yeah, but I mean, I think we've adjusted to the way the environment was. And, but let's be realistic, the environment's getting tougher. You know, yep. so, so yeah, we are used to being a genius, and we're probably used to getting by in a, in a world where capital doesn't flow, for so, flow so freely for New Zealand businesses as elsewhere. We're used to that, but it's tightening up, and it's tightening up. So what we're, what we're thinking about today is how can we uh, release further sources of capital that's here in New Zealand? You know, it's traditionally been through the banks, but is there, is there other private sector sources, private wealth sources? How can we attract capital to New Zealand? Because we're a highly educated, and in some cases, lower cost base for many of the things that, for example, multinationals do. You know, can we attract um, entrepreneurial wealth mm. to New Zealand? Can we attract students to New Zealand? So it's about taking the changed dynamic uh, you know, of the world today and thinking, well, what steps can we take to be realistic that these changes have taken place, but make sure that we bring as much of those capital resources and talent resources we can to bear for New Zealand business. Hey look, we're in a pretty special position with you at the moment because both of the businesses represented on this microphone here, you know, Telecom have had a role in playing and sure. getting them going. Sure. And to us that's been really important and, yeah. and both from an entrepreneurial perspective, dealing with the senior people inside of Telecom now yeah. has been an experience very much like dealing with any other entrepreneurial business partner. Good. Good. Is this the kind of culture that we're kind of seeing emerge now? And is it coming from the top? Well, uh, you know, I'm very clear that, I, you know, in terms of the time I've been in telecom, I really want to change the business. You know, we are a, we are a huge uh, business in New Zealand. We're a huge corporate in New Zealand. We should be hugely corporately responsible in New Zealand. 
you know, I think that's a win-win for telecom and yeah. for New Zealand. We have huge reserves of capital, of human capital, intellectual capital, money capital. We're investing $1.3 billion mm -hmm. a year. So I, I've been very, very passionate that the, the telecom community, us together, should team much better than we have before. But we should engage with New Zealand, with our stakeholders, whether that be Mrs. Smith and Four Acacia Avenue, whether it be SMEs trying to figure out a new technology or a new business idea, or whether it be working with government and our other major corporate clients. Team, team, put the customer at the heart of our business. And I, I, I think my, my company, Telecom's success, is dependent on us putting the customer at the heart of our business and doing that teaming well. So look, Paul, you haven't always lived in New Zealand, but I know you're already a passionate Kiwi. So, <laughs> so, so what attracted you to New Zealand? Well, you, you know, I, I'm a Scotsman, this mm, might mm. be obvious, and I think Scots and Kiwis have got uh, some things in common, for sure. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a quarter Scot. <laughs> <laughs> so and I meet lots of people with Scottish blood, you know. So, um, so Scotland is a country on the periphery as well, you know. Scots, like Kiwis, go out into the world. You know, we're used to it. We go all over the world and we make a success in the world. And so I think, and Scots, like Kiwis, are pretty straight up. You know, we don't stand in the ceremony. We don't have the, we don't have the, the layers and the structures that get in the way. So I found it tremendously straightforward, actually, to settle in to New Zealand life. I, it just, it feels fairly homely to me, you know. <laughs> it, it's not Scotland, but it's, uh, you know, it's very, uh, it's very good territory for me, very comfortable, and people have made me very, very welcome. And it seems fantastic you can actually come together with the whole leadership crew of the country and, and get some things oh, kicked into gear today. And, uh, you know, I've met such a lot of people again today and, uh, you know, as I say, there's a real spirit mm. amongst everybody in, in that hall today to get something done and to do it well. So it's, it's great. You can't ask for more. Paul, thanks heaps for your time, mate. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Yeah, good Cheers. Luck.